What's up everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the exact Google Ads strategy that made me over $5 million online. So real quick, we'll just do some refreshes on all of these stores just so you know that this is not BS. So about a million on this store, about 2.6 on this store, 1.46 on this store, over $5 million. And then we have a few other stores that are a bit smaller. Um, and I've been kind of hands off for e-com for the past year or so. And the reason is because I'm pretty happy with the results and I'm just letting it coast doing 100 to 200 K a month, pretty consistently for months and months going forward. Okay. Now let's jump into copying my Google ad strategy that made me over $5 million. But real quick, why am I doing this? Why am I revealing all the secrets of how to generate money with Google ads? Well, the reason is because I've tried so many business models from real quick from affiliate marketing, low ticket dropshipping to Amazon BA to SEO content sites. I tried so many business models, but ultimately this business model changed my life and it's very consistent. I've been running some stores for over three years or even longer than that. At this point, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use a Google ad strategy that is literally replicatable in any single niche, but it's also more applicable for high ticket products. So if you don't know anything about high ticket dropshipping, I recommend you check out some of the resources on my YouTube channel, sort by most popular and then check out some of those videos. So the first thing that I want to tell you more about is how a funnel works. So funnel, obviously I like to think of it as an upside down triangle or upside down pyramid. The top of the pyramid is going to be or I guess the bottom of the pyramid would be the biggest space. Look at this space versus this space and then versus this space. This is what I call top of funnel. This is called middle of funnel. And then this is called bottom of funnel. Tofu, you know what that is. That's literally a vegetable, I believe. Tofu, mofu, bofu. So this is a strategy that we're going to be using with a Google Ads strategy to literally target people that are ready to buy at the very bottom of the funnel and then work our way up. The reason why we want to start with the bottom of the funnel is this is where the money is at. If we want fast cash, even though this, I don't like to use the word fast cash because it makes the business sound easier than it is. Although um, in my opinion, it's not that crazy complex. I wouldn't say this is an easy business model by all means. And if I were to tell you it's easy, I would be lying to your face. So tofu, mofu, bofu, this is the strategy that we'll be using. And this is our funnel structure. We need to understand why we are using this. So first of all, we're going to have this funnel structure is going to be based off of shopping ads. The reason why we use shopping ads versus things like search or discovery or even performance max, which is uh, garbage for high ticket. We use shopping is because we have maximum control. And then we also can optimize our shopping ads like with performance max, which is the, probably the biggest uh, direct competitor to shopping is with performance max is like a black box. So you have a box, you put the dollar amount. So let's say a hundred dollars a day. And then it literally just spends what if the performance is good. What if the performance is bad and it keeps getting worse. Well, you have absolutely zero control here. We do not want a campaign that has zero control, which is literally a black box that literally if things go south, we cannot do anything. We can't change bids. We can't add negative keywords. And that's essentially those key pillars in terms of how we improve our performance of our Google ads. Okay. So now you understand this is a shopping funnel. Now we have to understand keyword intent and why we even use this funnel in the first place. First of all, we set up this funnel in a way called tofu mofu bofu where we're going to spend most of our money actually at the very bottom and then a little bit less in the middle and even less in the top the reason why i want to go like this is because if we spend more money here this is going to net us more dollar signs right away compared to something like this so yes we might spend less in the high campaign, which is a tofu campaign. It's also going to generate us less uh, revenue and also cost us more. So technically uh, this doesn't actually indicate what it actually looks like, because if we spend usually over here, we might spend $3 and only get $1 sound back. And here we might spend 
two dollar signs or let's just say three dollar signs as well and then we only get uh, two dollar signs and here we get we spend three dollar signs and then we get three dollar signs so understand we want to start at the very bottom is because this is the hard, highest ROI on our investment if, if all three of these dollar signs equals one thousand dollars for the bottom funnel campaign we are going to get a thousand back. In the medium, we might get seven hundred back, and then here we might get five hundred back. Now, obviously, a one x return on ad spend. If we spend a, a thousand and we only get a thousand back, that's horrible. But this is used as an example, right? You could even add another zero, and then make it a little bit easier to understand. If we spend a thousand, we get ten thousand back. That's a good ROI. That's a ten x. Here, if we spend a thousand. And we only get seven thousand. That's a seven x. That is decent. And then here five x. It could still be decent based on your margins, but it's most likely not very profitable. And that's why we want to start at the very bottom of the funnel, where most of our budget should go, and then less of our budget should go into each one of these tiers as we go up the funnel. Okay. Now you understand that we need to understand keyword intent and why we essentially structure this in a way. So. I'm going to pull up the pyramid again. We need to understand keyword intent. The top of funnel keywords, let's say we are selling sofas. So someone's searching sofa or green sofa. They obviously want a sofa. So it could be green, it could be blue, it could be big, small, whatever size and functionality that sofa might have. But someone's searching something like Ashley sofa. So Ashley is going to be a brand of sofa. People can literally go into Google and type in Ashley and then they'll see all the Ashley type branded furniture. So someone searching Ashley sofa or Ashley green sofa, they are so much more likely to buy from your store if you have exactly what they want. Here, you know, they're searching sofa or green sofa. You might have a green sofa or just a sofa. But the thing is customers they want in this decision stage, they don't know what they actually want. They obviously want a sofa or a green sofa, and you might have those options. But the conversion rate up here with the top of funnel campaign is a lot lower than at the very bottom because their choices here, they have a wide nest of choices that they, that they can pick from. Here, they have less because if actually sofas, there's only 100 units or 100 variations, they only have 100 to choose from. Here, they have thousands and thousands of units to choose from. But then we also have the bottom of the funnel. This is where the actual money is going to be made, which is Ashley uh, Green Sofa XYZ. Obviously, that's not the, the skew that it is, but the model number or collection, that is where the bottom of the funnel keywords come into place. And this is where we're going to spend most of our budget and also the pool of products is going to be the smallest and when the pool of products is the smallest and you match the keyword intent with what they're looking for you're going to make money almost guaranteed if you're not making money by spending money in the bottom of funnel campaign then it's something is either wrong with your ads or there's something wrong with your website that's not invoking trust with the customer and the reason why this structure works is simply because of the fact that we target the very bottom of the funnel in terms of audiences. People at the very bottom are ready to buy. They don't need you to convince them to choose a specific type of sofa. And we want to use this essential uh, Google Ads framework to essentially scale our ads. Because as soon as we are profitable with bottom of the funnel, we want to go up the funnel and go to middle of the funnel, which is a little bit harder to be profitable right at the bat, but it's still very possible. It just takes more negative keywords, more Google Ads optimizations. Um, it also takes more bid optimizations to actually get the me medium or the middle of the funnel campaign to be profitable. And as soon as the middle of the funnel campaign is profitable at a healthy rate that we want to be at, then we can go up to the very top, which is targeting keywords like sofa or green sofa. This is where you essentially want to be at if you want to scale the business to you know, 300,000, 500,000, even a million dollars a month. Um, so that is essentially where you want to go. Essentially start from bottom, go all the way up to the top. Now in terms of bids, obviously we want to spend more on 
bottom of funnel. That also equates to the bids. So a bid is essentially how much you're willing to pay for a click on Google Ads because Google Ads is pay per click, PPC. So you give the campaign or specific product a certain bid. So for example, in the bottom of funnel campaign, I might be bidding $2. In the middle funnel, we might be bidding $1. And then in the top of funnel, we might bid uh, $0.25. Cents. And the reason why we do this is because we want to spend most of our budget here where the high, the buying intent is so much higher versus $0.25 cents on uh, a term like green sofa. And a lot of times you'll find the keywords like green sofa or sofa, they actually be more expensive per click than something like Ashley sofa or even green or Ashley green sofa, X, Y, Z. So a lot of times the branded keywords can be cheaper than the generic keywords. And that's essentially where you essentially found like something that's very profitable for your campaigns and for your store. So use this structure to target people that are very bottom of the funnel. And if you don't know what keywords to target and you don't know what products you're going to be selling, check out some of my videos on my YouTube channel to uh, find some high ticket products to start your store around. Now, the last question that I want to make sure I answer is going to be, does this apply to search text campaigns or just search campaigns in general? Now, this framework can apply to search campaigns, but it's going to be a little bit different. And I covered this in my other video called the Google search text campaign uh, tutorial. If you want to check that out, but I'll give you a high level overview of how the search text campaign structure works. So instead of having campaigns and then brands, we have ad groups and it's inside each ad group, we're going to have a specific theme. So a theme could be green sofa. The theme could be actually green sofa, but whatever ad group that you uh, design for your search text campaign, it must be congruent to the landing page and also to add copy because we want to get a very high quality score in order to get a high quality score we must have our ad group so our actual keyword that we're targeting the landing page and then also the ad copy that's how we are able to get cheaper if not the same cost cpcs as shopping campaigns and the only time we want to launch search campaigns is if our shopping campaigns are converting and then we have keywords to target from shopping campaigns Otherwise, search text campaign, they can be a little bit aggressive to start right off the bat, but I would always start with shopping campaigns just because it's cheaper CBCs. They're also more likely to be profitable off the bat versus search text campaigns, but that is my philosophy for, for my uh, Google shopping ads versus Google search ads. So that's it. Copy my Google ad strategy that made me over $5 million online with high ticket drop screen. Check out my other videos on how to actually implement this into your own Google ads store. Hopefully you're using Google ads instead of Facebook or TikTok. So with that being said, I hope you guys took away value from this. If you have any questions, let me know. And until next time.